Happy Monday, this is Natalie with Sparks of Joy Studio, and I have four quick thrift flips for you today. For our first project, I have this wooden teapot that I got at, if I believe this one was from Goodwill, for two or three dollars, and I'm starting by painting it with raw silk by Fusion. Now I'm going to very lightly distress some of that paint back using a 220 grit sandpaper. Now here's the fun part. We're going to be taking the apothecary stamps and I'm going to be stamping on a very cute quote that I actually saw on a gift that my sister had given to my mother back at Christmas time. And uh, when I found this teapot, I thought this would be perfect. So I'm going to let you watch. I don't want to spoil the amazing quote that is on this project. You held my hand in the dark. I started fighting cause I was scared of it all. One thing I'm sure you're noticing with this word is that I have duplicates of some of the letters. I know that typically there's ways to um, set up your stamps so you only need one set of them. I just love using these quotes and lettering and I am not good at spacing and ensuring that things are lined up well. So I prefer to have two sets of stamps for some of the stamps that are my favorite. So I did order two of the Apothecary stamp set and I have two of the, I believe it's not letterpress. It's I forget the name of the other one. Um, I can leave it in the description box, but the ones that I use the most, I like to have two of, so it I don't have to worry about um, having to coordinate everything and space everything out. Now I'm taking some of the embellishments from the apothecary set and I'm going to be placing it on the top where I believe the top of this teapot would be. I never felt tomorrow closing in this fast oh, I guess time's in a rush Leaves are falling down but at least they grow back while I I'm taking the ink pad now and I'm just going to very gently tap it around the entire rim of the pot just to give it a little bit of accent and extra detail. Yeah, now I know the time I've got it is just enough to get I thought this was going to be the finished project, but as I looked at it, I felt that it needed something more. So I went back in and I used the crackle stamp with some stone gray ink um, to add some additional detail to the piece. Sometimes I understand I'm making all the wrong commands in life. It never pays in the end. I then decided to seal everything with some antiquing glaze by Fusion. Moving on like before, I'm yearning to reach. And now here's a look at the real finished project. Let me know what you think. 
For our next project, I have this pretty heavy um, metal tray that I found at the thrift store. It was $3.93, but I got it for 50% off, um, so I got it for just under $2. I missed the clip of the video where I painted the inside of that tray in lamp white, but you'll get to see me paint the outside of the tray. I am mixing up Lamp White with Conservatory. Both of these are fusion paint colors and I'm going to be um, using this gorgeous spring green um, in around the rim of this tray. Once that paint dried, I decided to use these gorgeous apple blossoms from the Lover of Flowers IOD transfer set. It's part of their new 2024 spring release. And I'm going to be placing the florals as well as that text on this tray. I'm going to seal this with some antiquing glaze. And I do want to mention, I think I did not get a clip of this, but I did very lightly distress back some of that paint around the rim of the tray. I'm not sure if you can see in this, in this clip. I did that because some of the paint had chipped a little bit and I just felt that it would be much easier to have the distressing in there, allow it to look a little bit more vintage, especially with this antique and glaze, and not have to stress out so much about maybe one tiny chip. And here's a look at our finished project. Within my mind and every night in the shadows of my sleep I cannot say I love you cause I don't know you that well At least let me find you so I can break this spell Golden for this project, I decided to use that same green. I had some leftover and I do not like to let it go to waste. I had originally painted this project a while back, probably about two months ago, and I did not like the finished project. It was a, dar a blue that came out much, much darker than I expected it to, and I just felt like it made the entire gorgeous piece on the inside, the picture on the inside, looks so much darker and duller. So I'm hoping that if we use that gorgeous green that we mixed today on this piece, it'll have it, give it a little bit more of a spring vibe. You look at me like I'm crazy when I shut my feelings out. You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love 
with your colors They kind of tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Now I'm using this plastic razor to scrape off any of the paint that I got onto that glass. Um, this functions very similar to a metal razor. I just know this is much safer, which is wonderful for me because I can be very accident prone when I'm crafting. There's something different about us. We're pulling cup after cup after cup. Yeah, it's just the way we do it. Anything just to block out the real life. Real life. Yeah, we love in the way they think we're so because Fusion Paint has a built-in sealer, you wouldn't have to seal this per se, but I did decide to use some grunge gray, and this is a Dixie Belle Vestang Wax. I used it just to give it a little bit more detail or to bring out the details that are in this frame. I thought this was probably one of the most unique frames I've ever seen, and I'm really loving and much more excited about this color than the original blue that I painted. We fly around like paper planes, they never know where we will fall, nobody can see. For our last project, I have these, this set of three wood knobs and that uh, they look like they could be wall hangings or maybe a knob to like hook on like purses or belts or something. I don't know. Um, I got the set of three for $7. I had got them last summer and I have done nothing with them. I thought they were super cool and didn't know what to do. So today we are going to upcycle them. I am starting off by painting them in lamp white. I am going to paint the entire piece, including that um, part in the back. There's something different about There's us. something different about the way we are. Now I'm taking the Sincerest Regards stamp by IOD and I'm going to be stamping this lettering on all three of the knobs. And I'm doing that with uh, the color stone gray. I, wake up from I do think that the stone gray is perfect for this lamp white color because lamp white has a very subtle um, undertone of gray so it it was so delicate it worked so perfectly together i'm really excited about um, how this turned out yesterday was supposed to be quiet be into myself and sit in silence I'm sure you can see the array of just leftover transfers that I've had in my stash. I grabbed the pink flowers, which I felt had the same delicate nature as what I was kind of envisioning with these knobs. So I am going to be transferring on um, these flowers in the same, like kind of, I guess, corresponding sizes to the sizes of each of the knobs. And here's a look at our finished project. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Felt like we had it all. We were dancing in the dark. We were dancing in the dark. We were dancing in the dark.